this purchase includes a fully rigged character ready for your commercials, website illustrations, or anything else your mind can imagine. 20 plus custom poses are also included in this purchase and the renders are super duper quick. Around 20 seconds in cycles and two seconds in Eevee. And this is the wireframe. This is the front, the side, and here we can see from the back and up close, it still looks really awesome. Now we're at the overview part of the video. I will mention the most important things throughout the video. So if you're interested in posing, in rigging or in rendering or exporting, whatever you are interested in, just simply check out the timestamps down in the description and go check out the things you care about. For the Blender version, simply go under blender.org slash downloads. Here you can download the latest Blender 3.31. These rigs and characters should work fine with this version and any version that comes after this. So 3.4, 3.5 or 3.6 should work without an issue. Older versions like 2.6, 2.9 might have a slight issue with the rig but it should still work, but it would not be recommended. If you can just use the latest Blender versions. Now we're at the changing poses part of the video. Fairly simple stuff. Simply open up the Blender file. You, it should look something like this. Once you're in here, simply click on the top left by selecting the rig you'll see that it turns orange if it's selected and then simply click on pose mode. Once you have done that, you can just simply click on these images on the left and the poses should apply and you should be able to see them very well and no issues. If you see small things like this and it looks weird, this is due to simplify being enabled. If you want to hide that, just click here and you will see everything more beautifully. This is due Simplify simply helps um, making the scenes more simple so they don't lag as much. <laughs> Anyways, you can just click and change. In case you click and change and the poses change like this, basically glitching a lot. This means it is because you have a rig layer selected. Simply right click on nothing. You can see here, let me actually unhide this. Oops. You can see me right clicking with my mouse on nothing. And if nothing is selected, then poses should work. But if I have this selected and I press G and move it around, you can see that that is why the poses break once we switch them. So just make sure you have nothing selected. I press G, move my mouse, nothing moves. That means nothing is selected and we can switch poses easily. Now we're at the checking out the rig part of the video. Let's start by first having our going into pose mode. The second thing I recommend doing is going into simplify. So the rig does not lag as much as you can see here. I move it and it's fairly seamless. But if I have simplified disabled, you can see that it's slightly more laggy. Just enable simplify for less lag. Let's go into the default pose. Let's enable the layers, all the layers we have, and let's just play around with the rig. Um, let's maybe enable torso stuff. We can add details. The mouth, uh, the mouth is pretty cool as well. We can do stuff. <laughs> the tongue is also really epic. Um, you can move the feet independently if you want to do something like that. Puff up the cheek in case he gets hit. Rotate the head, of course. There's a lot of things you can do. And um, yeah, it's pretty awesome. Of course, the legs as well are cool. Oops, let me do something like that. You can do cool stuff. Move this as well. 
Um, yeah, if you want to see more in-depth use case of this rig, just check out the timestamp where I create a custom pose and save it. And that is it. Expert renders, it is fairly simple. Just choose your pose. I like this one. And then let's just make sure our lights are enabled in case lights three are the, no, light two are the, the, the ones I like the most. You can move them if you want to do more stuff, but that's a different story for a different day. To render, just click on top left, render image, and their image will be rendered. With Eevee, you can see the renders are super duper quick. I can even scale it up to 100% and we'll see that the renders are very, very quick. I don't know, like two seconds, which is awesome. The detail is fairly great. And to save the image, just click on image, save as. To have it PNG, just make sure it's RGBA and then just save the image and you will have your PNG image of the pose and then you can do whatever you want. Now we're at the creating a custom pose part of the video. This is the coolest part of the video and the most important one. Well, first make sure we are in the T pose in case you switch to the T pose and it looks weird like this. Make sure none of the rig layers are selected. So if I'm pressing G and I move my mouse around, nothing is selected. If I had this selected and I press G, you can see that this thing moves. So just make sure that is not selected. As you saw here, I just made the mistake. And yeah, I will also hide the lights by clicking on this eye. And we'll also make sure we enable simplify. It is under the render properties. This will just help us pose the character easily because it's not going to lag as much as this as the scene will be simplified basically the character you can see here won't have won't be as detailed it will be more blocky anyways to create a custom pose we'll just take a p pose or if we want to use a pre-made pose we can do that and just adjust it slightly but in my case i'll just use the t pose and i'll create a custom one I'm pressing G, R, rotating, pressing G, R, rotating. He'll be having his arms on the hips like that. Um, we'll open up his mouth like that. We'll rotate it. Um, we'll put his head like that. Turn him to the side maybe have his legs more open like that i don't know why <laughs> looks weird let's sit him down a tiny bit looks even more weird let's imagine he's in the middle of a dance basically um because yeah this is, um, yeah, I think this pose, again, I would recommend anyone that's making a custom pose to have a reference image. So like, I don't know, reference, oops, why is it in Russian? <laughs> reference pose. And then you can see here a bunch of cool poses which we can use, for example, this one. We would look at this and then create our pose. But in my case, I'm trying to save time. So this will be our pose, but just experiment a lot more with the rigs and all the rig layers to have a lot more detail and you can tweak stuff, make his biceps really big in case he's strong. You can experiment a lot here, just yeah, play around and yeah. Okay, now you created your own custom cool pose. Now we're gonna go on to saving it. To save it, simply enable all the rig layers that you used, then click on A to have them all selected. Then you, by pressing N, you will have this view visible. Simply go under animations and then create pose asset. Bottom left, you'll have a text input. We'll call it a kukaracha, as if he's dancing. Then it's gonna be saved right here. 
we can switch poses, do stuff like usual, and then we select our Aqua Karacha pose. And now we have our custom, very weird looking pose. Um, <laughs> looks like a horse. Um, yeah, we can also switch them here if we want to. And then we just go back to item to see all of our rig layers. And yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.